Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of two flagship smartphones. The newly launched OnePlus 12 with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform and we have the Vivo X100 which is again the Dimensity 9300. Both are really good in terms of hardware because both are powerful and have flagship processors the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the Dimensity 9300. So in this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison to see how they perform in terms of app opening time, the memory management, the antidote benchmark score, the storage test and also the Geekbench test to see which performs better. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us, the OnePlus 12 and the Vivo X100. So these are two devices uh, with a really great and powerful hardware. So let's just take the about phone on uh, both the devices. So you can see here Oxygen OS 14 and here we have Funtouch OS uh, 14. This is uh, 3.2. 25 GHz uh, 9000 uh, Dimensity 9300 Octa-core processor, 14 or uh, the Android 14 out of the box and 16 gigs of RAM. This is Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform, 16 gigs of RAM and again Android 14 out of the box. So both of these devices have really great hardware. We have the Vivo's V2 chip along with uh, uh, the additional chip uh, which uh, gives better experience as well. So Funtouch OS 14 versus uh, Oxygen OS 14 and the processor is actually the difference here. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform then this is Dimensity 9300 octa course processor both are flagship category processors so let's just clear off all the background apps let's also see the network connection so you can see here both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and both are in airplane mode as well so that's the network connections now next let's uh, just uh, clear off all the background apps so there you go we have cleared off all the background apps let's start the speed test comparison so uh, let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see which opens asphalt 9 faster so we have all the different modes enabled. So let's see which of these uh, performs better in terms of uh, the app opening time, the memory management, and also then we'll go to the benchmark score. So here you can see here, uh, OnePlus did better than uh, the uh, Vivo X100. Vivo X100 obviously is more of a camera centric device than uh, a performance oriented or a gaming oriented device, although the processor is really good. So let's uh, go with the next tab, the BGMI app. So let's see which opens BGMI faster. So once again, OnePlus has taken the lead here and OnePlus opens it faster. So both the games OnePlus did better. And next is uh, Play Store. Here also OnePlus was faster. Chrome browser. I will just skip that. Facebook. Again, I think OnePlus was slightly faster. Twitter. OnePlus is faster. Instagram. Again, OnePlus is faster. Spotify. OnePlus is faster. Amazon. I, uh, Vivo was faster. Flipkart. Again, OnePlus was slightly faster. File Manager, again, OnePlus is faster. Settings, OnePlus is faster. YouTube, again, OnePlus is faster. Gmail, OnePlus is faster. Again, uh, OnePlus is slightly faster. And finally, Maps, once again, OnePlus is faster. So you could see here, OnePlus did, an did have an advantage over the Vivo X100 in terms of performance. Uh, Again, this is more uh, because uh, this is a Vivo X100 is more of a camera centric device uh, than a performance oriented, although it is really capable device. So here we would say uh, almost all of the apps uh, OnePlus did have an advantage over the Vivo X100. Next, uh, let's see the memory management. Both of these devices have uh, uh, the 16 gigs of RAM. So let's see if any app is uh, reloaded in the memory. So as of now, all the apps are remaining in the memory. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Chrome browser. So again, uh, games have also been retained. And finally, Asphalt. So all the apps and games are available in the memory. So memory management is excellent on both the devices. No wonder because both of these devices have 16 gigs of uh, uh, RAM. Next is the network speed of these two devices. So let's uh, just uh, see if both are connected to the same uh, testing server. So there you go. So let's start with uh, uh, OnePlus 12.
So here you can see that uh, almost exact values, there is no major difference in terms of uh, the network speed. Next is the anti to benchmark score. So here you can see here 17 lakh versus 20 lakh uh, dimensity uh, 9300 is really capable you can see here CPU score the GPU score is way higher but uh, optimization seems to be slightly better here because app opening time was better on the OnePlus uh, 12 you can see here the memory score and the UX score. So while testing uh, you can see here 47.7 was the temperature maximum temperature here it was uh, slightly lesser 42.5 so almost 5 degree difference. Uh, uh, in terms of the testing again uh, you can see here battery drop also was 7 percentage here on the dimensity it was 10 percentage drop now next uh, let's uh, see the storage test of these two devices so we'll just test this again so let's uh, see uh, how the storage book because both of these devices have the UFS 4.0 support and uh, LPDDR5X RAM so it should be almost similar in terms of values so you can see here 1,76,000, here 1,85,000, both are equally good, you can see UFS uh, 4.0 support. Now next is a Geekbench uh, result, so we'll just uh, take uh, from the history. So you can see here 2,113, 2,026 and 6,241 and 6,550, again very similar, uh, the single core score is almost similar, multi-core I would say uh, Dimensity 6300 Ultra did a slightly better job. So that was uh, the uh, speed test comparison and also the performance testing of uh, these two devices including the Antitude Benchmark, Geekbench score, storage test as well and also the battery uh, temperature rise. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let us know what you guys think about these two devices and which one would be your choice in terms of performance. So that is the speed test comparison. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.